There's another one? Yeah, there is, and the Chicago Bears have just picked him up. The Chicago Bears have just signed Ladarius Mack, the little brother of Khalil Mack, as an undrafted free agent. What is up, guys? I'm back with another Bears offseason news video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more Bears content, more Bears highlight videos, reactions, analysis, and so forth. And guys, when I first heard about this news, man, I was hella hyped, okay? I'm not even going to lie. I didn't even look at his tape at that point. I didn't even look at, like, his stats or anything. Just knowing that we got Khalil Mack's little bro, okay? Khalil Mack, man, he has some of the best genes in the entire universe, okay? There's few human beings that are built the way that Khalil Mack is. And to get a part of his bloodline, another part of his bloodline on this team, getting little Mack on this team with Big Mack, man, that is so freaking exciting, man. And when I turned on his tape, when I looked at his potential, when I looked at his backstory, I got even more excited. Guys, we are not just signing this guy because he is Khalil Mack's little bro. We're not just doing it to make Khalil Mack happy. We're not just doing it to give this guy a job in the NFL. This dude actually has serious potential in this league. Why? Because he didn't play a single snap of football throughout all of high school, okay? His first time on a football field was in college. He was wanting to be a basketball superstar, so basketball was his first love, just like his older brother, Khalil Mack. I mean, Khalil Mack also, he didn't start playing football until like really late in high school, and then obviously he blossomed. But unlike Khalil Mack, man, Ladarius Mack didn't play a single snap of football at all in high school. So he didn't have any experience at all. He didn't have any coaching at all. And man, can you think of the untapped potential right there? Because you learn so much in your first few years of playing football, right? Most NFL prospects, man, they play, they've play. they been playing this game for like 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 years, sometimes more. I mean, sometimes they've been playing this since they were literally babies, okay? They've been playing this game since they were like out of the womb, okay? But this guy, Ladarius Mack, he has barely played it. So there's so much coaching that he can go through that's going to help him out so much. Let's talk about his college career. So obviously, since he didn't play, you know, any football at all in high school, he was wanting to be a basketball star, but that opportunity never presented itself. You know, he went to JUCO where um, he's, I think some scouts saw some potential in him. So he transferred to ASA College Miami, which is a really small college that practically nobody has heard of. He had some pretty decent stats there, but then some scouts at University of Buffalo, Khalil Max alma mater, saw some serious potential in him, okay? And they were taking a massive risk by offering Ladarius Mack a scholarship because this dude had really only played like three years of organized football and even that he wasn't really like that dominating yet okay because obviously he didn't know the game but they took a bet on his raw physical attributes and man did it pay off okay so he redshirted his first year because when he just got there he really did not know the game of football that much um, besides just playing for two years at a really small college with no competition so they taught him the game there and then uh, his junior season, he had two sacks and one forced fumble, so he showed some promise then, but his senior season, which was last year, is when he fully broke out, and that's when people started to think that maybe perhaps one day this guy could be an NFL prospect, okay? He had eight sacks last year, led the Bulls with 12 tackles for loss, and he also led the team in forced fumbles, which was three, and he recovered two of those. And in the Bahama Bowl, their bowl game, he actually recorded a sack and a fumble recovery to secure the win against that team so this this guy really showed up in clutch situations just like his older bro and man those stats are pretty nice when you consider the fact that that's d1 football right there okay obviously university of buffalo is not in a very big conference okay mid-american conference that's not really a conference that people look at for nfl talent but the fact of the matter is this guy still barely knows how to play football and he did dominate in certain areas last year no team in the nfl draft was willing to take a bet on him because it is risky for sure to draft a player that's barely played football okay he could either blossom or he could be a colossal bust but the chicago bears were willing to take a bet on you know his raw physical attributes in undrafted free agency which i'm really happy about let's take a look at ladarius max measurable so he's six foot one 240 pounds so he is kind of undersized as an edge rusher but he can obviously bulk up in the NFL. Um, he's going to eat a lot. He's going to be in the weight room a lot with his big bro. And if you look at his big bro, man, Khalil Mack is 6'3", 269. So 
Um, obviously, this guy is probably not going to get that much taller at this point in life, but he could get a lot heavier. And if you look at his just genes, man, his genetic blueprint, he has a similar amount of explosiveness and raw power in his upper and lower body as his big bro, okay? Obviously, it's not the same as Khalil Mack, and it's unfair to ever expect this guy to be as good as his big bro, but I'm just saying there are certain similarities that you see in Big Bro and Little Bro, in Big Mac and Little Mac, okay? The genetic blueprint for both of them, although Khalil Mack was blessed with a little bit better genes, you know, it's still there for Ladarius Mack, Little Bro. He's gonna have to work at it though, okay? It's not just the genes that make you good. You also have to have the work ethic, the drive, the hunger, the football instincts, the, the football knowledge as well. So that's gonna be tough for him to emulate with this Big Bro because man, Khalil Mack has some of the best work ethic in the NFL that I have ever seen. This guy doesn't talk that much. He just goes about his business and gives his full 100% every single day of practice. I never see Khalil Mack taking plays off ever, okay? He plays with a relentless drive. He wants to get after the quarterback. He wants to destroy his opposition. And he wants to be the greatest of all time. I mean, that's something that he said himself. If you look at Little Bro Man, I see some of the same character traits, okay? He also doesn't talk that much. He goes about his business, has a really good work ethic. But when he's on the field, man, he plays with a relentless drive, and I think he really feels disrespected because so far in his football career, he's never really been given a fair shot. Even at University of Buffalo, he wasn't a starter, I think, ever, okay? He was a rotational player, so this guy has so much just raw potential that he feels like he hasn't used the most of, and he just wants to be coached, he wants to be better, and what better defense to go to for that than the Chicago Bears defense? Chuck Pagano, the linebackers coach, and the rest of the amazing pass rushers that we have on this squad, they are going to teach this guy how to play the game of football correctly. They're going to teach him the mindset. They're going to put him in the weight room. They're going to challenge him. And man, I really think that this guy can be molded into being a really great football player. He's going to be a different edge rusher than Khalil Mack. He's not going to be using his raw power all the time. He's going to be more of a speed rusher, a finesse rusher, because he has more speed, I think, than his bigger bro, but obviously the power is not the same. But if he can add a little bit more power, man, who knows, man? It's going to be a scary sight to see. I want to give you guys a quote from Khalil Mack on his little bro before he came to college. Um, he said that whether it be with Buffalo or any other school, I know he can flourish and dominate. He's talking about Ladarius Mack here. His game is raw right now in terms of fundamentals, but his athleticism is what will separate him. In comparison to me, I will do everything in my power to see that he is better than me, and I know he will do the same. That's why Buffalo is lucky to have him, not only a freak athlete, but a fierce competitor and a hard worker. There you go, man, straight from Khalil Mack himself. If he's saying these great things about his little bro, you know, you know that good things are coming, okay? Because this guy, Khalil Mack, he's been brothers with him, okay? He knows him better than any of us do, and if he can see the hard work, you know, the drive in him, then I I can see it too, okay? So, man, I really love this move by Ryan Pace. Such an amazing move, okay? Because it keeps Khalil Mack happy too. And it also gives us a pass rusher with so much raw potential. And if he actually pans out, I can't even imagine how scary this defense is going to be. Right now, the depth chart is going to be Khalil Mack, Robert Quinn, Travis Gibson. And I think that last spot is going to be fought for between Bartavius Mingo Ladarius uh, Mack, and maybe some others, okay? But I, nonetheless, this guy is going to have to work hard to earn his roster spot. It's not going to be just given to him based on his last name. So he is going to have to work really hard. But man, the potential is there. And I can't even imagine how scary it's going to be for Aaron Rodgers having to go against two Macs, okay? Having two instead of one. Big Mac and Little Mac, that might be a historical combination. But it's really early to say that right now, okay? There's a lot of work this guy has to do. But I, again, I really love this move. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. But as always, bear down. Being at Buffalo, you know, uh, guys, we don't get taken seriously. Um, people, look, people look at Buffalo as like, it's just Buffalo. It, like, we, like, almost as if we, we're nothing, you know? And, that, and that's what really takes it home. Um, you know, that, that is, that's really a spit in our face, uh, basically see us as like we're we're not a, a legitimate team or we're not the legitimate and um that that definitely what uh pushed us even more um especially in a six and six season we didn't go to a bowl um 
that that pretty much struck it home and um and and it's definitely gonna um probably stay that way for a while. <laughs> it's gonna be that way for a while. You're no longer going to wear a UB jersey, but that still burns inside, doesn't it? Oh man, yeah. It's like I, I feel like I I'm just getting started. I haven't even tap tapped into what I know I can do. And um it's just it's just funny that like I'm in this position and I have an opportunity to, you know, continue. And um that's that's really what I'm hoping for, to just continue this.